Hey everyone. Uh, welcome to another episode on Creative Street. Today I have Sway Molina with me. Awesome creative over here. Uh, I'm going to let him introduce himself really quick. Hi. Well, uh, first of all, I'm your cousin. Yeah. Yeah. So we're related. <laughs> okay. Uh, hi, I'm Sway Molina from Miami, Florida. I do a lot of things. We're going to talk about that here today. I do, uh, I'm a professional actor, filmmaker, right now currently working with AI and I've been doing some crazy AI artwork mm -hmm. as of lately and uh, a little bit of everything. I'm into comedy. I'm into doing very absurd, bizarre things. If you check out my Instagram, um, lately I've been more active on, on Twitter, which is now X and that's where I've been posting most of my work. Uh, literally. Ever since I can remember, you've always been creative. Like you would, you had your your drum sets. Yeah. You, you played music. You, you were always doing something. Always, um, always. Which it, like honestly, when I made this podcast, one of the very first people I thought of, I was like, I need to have Josue on here. I need to have him on here because you are just so awesome. Oh, thank you. Everything you do is is awesome. He does some really cool um, AI like artwork on on Instagram that. Like I asked you the other day, the rooster, the chicken, like, I need to know context of that. <laughs> Everybody asks, everybody asks, like, what's up with the rooster? So if you check out my Instagram, um, you can find me at, at Sway Molina, S-W-A-Y Molina. And that's basically my stage name. My real name is called Sway. And uh, there's a whole reason behind that. And I've been using Sway for a very, very, very long time. And that's just part of the brand now. And speaking of brand, I've, uh, you know, the rooster, the rooster, I have this rooster and I'm always, it's not the same rooster, but it's a rooster that's always part of my absurd imageries. <laughs> and uh, I just don't want to feel alone in these pictures. And and <laughs> and I just don't want to be narcissistical either. So, okay. so to, to give a little bit of more context is uh, most of these AI images uh, are of myself. They're kind of like self portraits mm -hmm. of myself and in a very surrealist way so different backgrounds i like to the pictures that i've been producing lately i like them to juxtapose the subject with the background so like one of the pictures that i have i'm in a grocery store and uh, you know i don't know if this is th that picture specifically but if i'm in a grocery store i want to be next to my mascot my pet rooster mm -hmm. as i'm wearing you know a spacesuit or something like that so very off the wall uh kind of stuff and that just and I think that's just a representation of my creative life, you know, and I just, I don't like to have this static mundane, you can always be crazier. You know, I don't think I'm like wildly, wildly artistical, mm -hmm. but I think I'm getting there as I, as I get older. Cause like, you know, I, I, I don't want to do the boring stuff, the mainstream stuff. And I tried it before. And uh, as an actor, you know, I've gone through the grind of like auditioning and being rejected and doing shows and voiceover commercials and, and the filmmaker route as well, you know, doing production work. And I've done all that. And you sure it's it's fun, but it easily becomes a job. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to my art, I don't want it to feel like a job and I want it to be fun and I always want it to be challenging. So um, that's kind of been the motif with with my with my work, the absurdity of it all and it just makes me more more creative so using ai i've been producing that even more because i you know for example i asked chat gbt hey i want to create a picture of me with a rooster in a very you know off the wall kind of setting i want you to juxtapose this i want you to think in terms of surrealism i want you to do it and in the style of i don't know salvador dali and and or, or i prompt different photographers or artists and then i'll just give me a list of ideas i'm like hey that's a really cool thing to try let me use mid, mid journey which is a an, a, a an image generator mm -hmm. to create that image and that's what i've been doing and uh taking these images creating videos and uh, since i'm a filmmaker i try to create like little short clip movies mm -hmm. and uh, just think of it just think of that kid with like a super 8 camera with like little vhs camera vcr camera whatever you call it just filming toys you know that's how i see myself and um very close to being 40 
and I still might see myself being that creative. And uh, you yeah. definitely aren't afraid to do wild things with it. I can say that. Like, it's definitely not the norm. Like, whenever I see yourself, I'm like, dude, he's having so much fun with this. That I am, and I. I <laughs> And I, I, and I try to remind myself to make it fun, right? I, I kind of force myself to make it fun because sometimes, and this is a personal model, motto of mm-hmm. mine, don't take yourself seriously. Mm-hmm. You know, take the work seriously, but don't take yourself seriously. And that's a really big challenge when you're introducing your, your as an artist and, and you want to introduce your work to, to the world because you want it to be like a representation of you, of how you're feeling or your style and whatnot. And, uh, you know, sometimes I do fall for that trap. And that's when I realize, and when I do catch myself, I realize, okay, I need to go completely left field because I don't want to be known for this. I don't want to be stuck in this cycle and this repetitive thing. And I don't want to be known for this. I want to try different things and always finding the challenge. And within that challenge is always like you say, you know, you're not afraid. I'm like, yeah, I'm like afraid because you're, you're, pr- you're practically telling you're, you're very vulnerable, you're you know, being very vulnerable. You're being, you're like, totally, totally. You know, cause I was just telling my wife, it was like, I'm creating all these self portraits. Like, I just hope people don't think like I'm a narcissist or like, yeah, look at, look at me. Like, that's not the point. You know, it's not the point at all. I was like, but in reality, who doesn't want to see their face in a ridiculous, in a d- ridiculous way? Right. And such an imaginary creative type of way, right? Like, it's not easy to be able to, especially the scenes that you create, like, it's not something you can actually do in real life. But it's cool to be able to see your face in like those moments and be like, yeah, like imaginary wise, I'm in there. Like that, that that's me. Yeah. Um, But yeah, like, you you're very artistic and you're very knowledgeable on like like uh you mentioned earlier like chat gbt like using that ai tool is like kind of like a science it's it's its own thing right yeah it has its own like unique ways of like i've played around very 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 quickly with it and then i was like oh this is not my realm <laughs> like for sure this is not my realm i may have quit too early but this is not my realm I tried to so the initial the initial cover of Creative Street was mm-hmm. done with an M- imaging uh, generated AI. Oh, cool! Um, it just it didn't come out great. I then had to get like, go <laughs> on, on Photoshop and just add it. To yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> it, it's 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 a challenge. I mean, but the beauty of the today's time is that there's resources everywhere. I am literally always on Twitter or X, uh, looking for resources, and I'm. I feel that I, and I am part of this AI art community, which has been really helpful. Mm-hmm. And uh, I even myself created a guide for these face swaps. So okay. yeah, so that's a little plug, you know, um, and that's one of the reasons also why I do it, but I'm having fun while I'm doing it. And I want other people to do it as well. Mm-hmm. So, which is why I created a, a, right now it's 18 pages, an 18 page guide. Wow. And hopefully it's easy for you to follow. Wow. Um, and all these tools are practically free, mm-hmm. you know, to use. Um, but I I know how that feels, you know, trying to break into something new and so strange and uh, so and requires so much technical knowledge. But once you, you know, with a proper guide, you know, it's, it's, it's not that that hard. Mm-hmm. But uh, and, and just a little just a little context. Uh, I've only been doing this for the AI stuff, at mm-hmm. least. I've only been doing it for less than three, four months. I mean, if you go past, yeah, like past my three, four months of content on my Instagram, Mm -hmm. it's been mostly like comedy stuff. And I've done a lot of like, you know, the typical things that you see on like Instagram and reels and a lot of solo back to back me reacting to myself, playing different characters and (laughs) which is something that you want to talk about, right? Um. The, those one on ones, like yeah. when you're just up in one way and then just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the, those are awesome. Um, yeah, I mean, brain fart. No, no, no. I mean, it, sorry. No, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> it, it happens in, in my whole creative career is a brain fart. <laughs> it, 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 it is because. Because what what I'm trying to say with my art is, um, if 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 I were to add, if I were to 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 place a theme with what I do, mm-hmm. it's is to practically tell the world, hey, you can do this and you can break out of your shell. Because 
sure like the the illusion that I, what i think or my what my my theory is that that all the stuff that you see from my content at least when i'm sp- talking personally mm-hmm. can give the illusion that wow this guy's totally out there he must be cool in real life you know he must be totally outgoing i'm not i'm like i'm i'm pretty my life is pretty i won't say boring but it's pretty basic mm-hmm. i'm home um i have three kids and i you know taking the role of the i do the dad daddy duties you know like i drop off my kids to school i make them breakfast lunch and dinner and working from home and uh, i'm not in no way shape or form in any settings similar to my pictures right Mm -hmm. that does not translate with my real life but my art is practically an outlet like hey i am breaking from from my shell um but in reality is I suffer with dyslexia, dys- dyslexia, social anxiety. Mm-hmm. I'm very comfortable when it comes to me talking about my art and what I do. Mm-hmm. But when it comes to like a normal, you know, face to face setting, like I struggle, like like mm-hmm. anyone. And uh, I've tried the podcast. I've tried interviewing other people, and those are have been more challenging. Which is why creating and art has been more of my comfort zone Mm -hmm. uh but within that comfort zone i always try to find like discomfort and i think that's where the growth is i think that is so beautiful you articulated that so pretty in the sense that you're absolutely right it's where that discomfort lies that we can challenge ourselves and we find those growth areas absolutely and like it it's funny because you're 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 mentioning the social anxiety and all of that and like Art, I love art, and it's a great form of expression for me. This podcasting, this is a child. Oh, absolutely. This is a child. Yeah, I know the it, feeling. It's, it's like you're mentioning, like, it's it's very uncomfortable sometimes doing those face-to-face, like, interactions. Like, you know, you don't know how you're going to be perceived. You know, oh, yeah, you, you think of it all. What, what to say, what not to say. Like, it, it's so it's so difficult. Um, So, yeah, like the podcast like you said yeah, yeah, yeah. Try podcast this is me trying <laughs> exactly i know the feel i used to try to break out of that show i i created i once had a podcast discontinued it and uh because i, I was i was struggling a lot and it was called uh, creative poppies creative poppies. <laughs> creative poppies creative poppies and uh, creative poppies was almost had the the same the same mission as yours was to 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 showcase other fathers and creative guys that that are have similar lifestyles as mine and to to comment on the struggles and the challenges that they face as creatives and as being being a father right Mm -hmm. and that transition right so so we're all we're all transitioning from something whether it's adulthood fatherhood and within that transition it it requires a sacrifice Mm -hmm. so now at my age where uh, there's more responsibilities more things are happening in my life um and you start getting into a phase where you start seeing more funerals versus like birthday parties and like it just life's changing so much around you you know that that's tough as an artist because like the 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 ultimate goal of where you wanted to be almost dies Mm -hmm. and you're on a constant challenge to pivot because if you're not pivoting you're stuck you're Mm -hmm. depressed that's when you're in in that state like wow i'm going nowhere so when you realize that no i gotta move i gotta pivot i gotta change it's like and and you see that vision you're constantly accommodating to your lifestyle which you need to accept right Mm -hmm. it's like i have kids and i to it's like uh my priority is to be a good human being not to be the best artist in the world Mm -hmm. you know it's to be a good father you know that that's my main priority so when you do that switch and which it doesn't take away from your creativity it doesn't take if anything it makes it adds it adds to it it, i think like especially with kids and kids are so creative like they're so unique where they are i bet they're constantly inspired absolutely All, all the time i see my kids create draw and just uh, my, my daughter right now she's using um procreate so she paints on the on the ipad awesome. and what i love when i see and i observe them because as artists we just need to talk create less sometimes and just listen and observe mm-hmm. right because that's where we learn from like humans and how they are and especially when you're observing kids and what i notice in them is like they are not afraid the bravery right there is no am i good enough oh are people gonna like no there's this total freedom to create 
And that's like, oh, I needed that. I need to get from that. So, like, we're very proud in my house to hang up their painting. Like, they are w t worth way more than any NFT, than any mm -hmm. painting, than any Picasso. Because it's not only because it's my kids, you know, but like, but it's because though those pictures, it's a, it's kind of like a, a stamp of time and who they were at that moment and how they were feeling and and the environment that they were in and the freedom freedom that they felt that, that they don't even think of it in terms of freedom mm -hmm. because they just are. And that's what we we just need to remember, you know, as uh, as adults, so just just be, mm -hmm. just be in the moment, and uh, whatever it is that you're going through, whether it's about we were t we were talking about, mm -hmm. you know, the good moments and the bad moments, and 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 happiness and sadness, mm -hmm. like, well, just take all of that, whatever it is, just take all that, and and maybe the answer of art is not an outlet, you know, maybe it's just you're, it's kind of like. Uh, just i wouldn't even know how to represent it. it's kind of like rolling your thumb on ink and just like hey yeah. i'm here this is this is me in this, this is, moment in this, this moment right in this moment because like it yes you were talking about how it's it's in, for context it's important to have those bad moments so that you can appreciate the good and absolutely vice versa, right like you can appreciate the bad moments because you have the good etc et mm -hmm. and like i think it's it's in those moments of acknowledging that you my my train of thought kind of it went away i'm sorry it's all right um oof, lost it it's all right it's in it's in those but moments it's in those moments it's that freedom like like you were mentioning that where they're not afraid to try to try something and i think you you stated it well where it was like as we grow up we forget to be in those moments yeah they just are they're not worrying about being perceived one way or saying something or if they're good enough or if they're not good enough they're just existing they're capturing those mo that that person that that's what i was leading to so there's like uh this this concept where it's like you're never going to be that same person right like even moment to moment right now you're never going to be the absolutely. same the same Josue that was like literally no. an hour ago in the kitchen oh absolutely no right? we're and constantly so, evolving and changing exactly and so like creating a map like creating an artwork and i say a masterpiece yes a masterpiece because even if it's not with the best technique not with the greatest skill set. It doesn't have to be this grandeur thing. It's still a masterpiece because it's capturing you in that moment. Like, yeah, absolutely. One one of the things that that reminds me of it reminds me of my 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 storytelling mentor. Because mm -hmm. um, again, I, I do film and uh, I I do do care about that craft. I pay attention more to that craft than any other thing. Um, so I watch movies. I break them down. I think in terms of storytelling and he he's taught me to appreciate uh classic work and black and white films and 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 art you know um so you just reminded me of like picasso mm -hmm. um go to youtube and just watch picasso paint and you might think a lot of people they don't like picasso like they don't get it they don't get why is it people gravitate to picasso and i think it's because and we, that's a whole this is a whole conversation and mm -hmm. so um it it, it, it kind of has to do with that, with them putting a stamp of who they were in the moment and just connecting with what we're trying to observe and learn from children. Just watch them paint. Just watch them paint with ease and just connecting all the dots and not being afraid. What, there's one where he's doing, where he's painting, and this is a popular video, video. He's painting on this plexiglass so you can see through. He's painting like a, like a, like a, like a bull. And so, I mean, just watch him do it and just watch him in action. He's a master of his craft and doing it. And it, there's, you might see technique. It's like when you watch these videos over and over, you always get something different. Mm -hmm. But you also see that this man is not afraid of what he thinks, she thinks, whether this is art or not art. He just does it. He does it. You know, and that's the level that we we need to get to. And yeah, I do agree that we are different versions moment to moment. And here's another thing that really blows my mind mm -hmm. every time I think about it. The way you think of me 
is a complete different version of the way I think of myself and the way that my wife sees me and the way that your dad sees me is like, you are a different version of you to everyone's Everybody. mind. So if you try to accommodate, yes, you're going to go, insane. You're gonna go <laughs> nuts. So that leads me to another personal model of mine is that the only person you need to surprise is yourself. Yeah. You know, there's no need to be like, hey, I wonder what this person's going to think or what this artist is going to think or what my mentor is going to think or like what my circle. Like, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Are you impressing yourself? Which is why it's so important to take on challenges or and the challenges doesn't have to be artistical all mm -hmm. the time. The challenges could be discipline. Mm -hmm. It's like I'm going to show up, wake up at six in the morning, do art from six to seven and boom, you know, and if you don't and I'm going to try to do that for five consecutive days. If you did that big pat on your back and if you did produce amazing work or maybe you didn't, but still big pat on your back because you committed to something and you surprise yourself and just try to apply that all around. And that's pretty much what I do is like I found this technology to be challenging. Let me surprise myself. You know, I pretty much I, I'm, I'm always challenged by all the contradictions, by all the you can't that here like that i suffer the mm -hmm. battle of the mind it's like you can't do that you're not smart enough you're not good enough mm -hmm. Im imposter syndrome right it was like you know it's like who you're fooling oh yeah you, you're on a streak now everyone likes this but are you going to do something better it's like constantly constantly mm -hmm. battling that and that's when you know you learn to 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 be self-aware and be like you know what it's not about these voices in my hand it's not about impressing the people it's about did I do something good for myself today? You know, was I able to tell a story? Or was it like there's the mission always changes, but mm -hmm. it should always make you feel like proud of yourself in a way, you know? And like, it's, it's interesting because when you, you just said that, like any, it, it's like, you're right. There's, there comes a point where you're constantly thinking to yourself, how can I one up myself? Yeah. And that's such a toxic way to see your work, mm -hmm. right? Cause then in, in that you lose freedom, you lose that, that, that motivation, right? Cause at, when you first start like doing whatever it is that you're doing, right? Whether it's exercising, whether it's creating an artwork, creating a song, whatever it is, you're doing it because you want to do it. Exactly. Right. You're not doing it for, for anybody else. But then there comes a point where when you start getting those, um, uh, what's it called? Like, uh, little bursts of reinforcement and, and like, uh, recognition from mm -hmm. others, right? That validation from others. Somehow in your mind, you start saying, Oh, you know, what, like, I wonder if I can do better. Oh, yeah. If I can, yeah, make yeah, it of better. course. Instead of just being, I, I can oh, make it please. better because I want to make it better because I want to be better right of course yeah we get we get addicted to the i have my son over here so yeah. it was like we're like get out of here <laughs> you can use that as a blooper <laughs> it's just a blooper uh so let, let let me let me add on to that um we get yeah i agree we get um really addicted to to the dopamine to the quick dopamine because mm -hmm. i've fallen for that trap too it was like mm -hmm. okay i'm on a roll you know uh daily creations here we go do, do, do. oh my god all these likes all these mm -hmm. and you get addicted to that and um you create in you create this false reward system mm -hmm. um it is very important it's very important to to find joy in the process mm -hmm. so it's not about the final product it's never it's, it's never, never been about the final product. product and i get it we're all we're all victims we're all victims to the to the system you know to the system the, to the educational system and the way society operates we're, we're all victims to that and and um that's the thing that we kind of need to retrain and um just constantly, constantly just change our way of thinking. You know, it's like, yeah, we're all used to doing, all right, algebra one, now it's algebra two, now it's algebra, like that one up, that one up, that one up. And like, okay, you did great, pat on the back, here's the certificate. It's like, mm -hmm. we need a break from that. Definitely. Um, there is a, a, I listen to the Philosophize This podcast and it, it's it's cool because mm -hmm. like they, they, they talk about different philosophers. Um, there's this one that talked about the achievement culture. So this idea that because social media is constantly showing you just that final product mm. right, and the, the only those happy moments, right? There's like this false sense of if you're not at that level, 
you're not doing good. And so it then leads to moments where instead of taking that moment to relax and to enjoy just creating an artwork that you're not going to post, right? that you're just going to keep yourself and you did it because you liked it. Like those moments, like you don't feel comfortable in those relaxing moments, those moments that are supposed to re-energize you, revitalize you. You don't feel comfortable in those moments anymore because you're you're thinking to yourself like, I'm wasting time or I could be doing something oh, yeah. to constantly improve and one up myself and make myself more marketable and more better. And like, so people like me and and this and that, and it's so exhausting. It's Very so exciting. So exhausting. so exhausting and mentally, mentally draining. And it just takes a big toll on your, on your mental wellness, mm -hmm. you know, thinking that way and trying to please an algorithm, trying to, feed a, a machine that never That's satiates literally you know <laughs> trying to please an algorithm you know wild it's, it's, not it's not. Wild. Well, yeah, yeah it's algorithms so we're all like i just watched the video it was a uh, pharrell it was like we're all you know the algorithm it just it's 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 just never pleased mm -hmm. it is never pleased and just you're just another zero another one and uh we need to break away from that you know and it works and it's sad, you know, because it's can you break away from that, you know, or you do you meet like 50 50 halfway because like, what if I'm trying to make money from my art and because mm -hmm. my friend is doing it and he's making a living and it's like, but there are healthy avenues that you can take without, you know, sacrificing your whole entire, you know, life routines mm -hmm. and, you know, and, it, it, and about setting up boundaries is so, so important. so important. Yeah, very important. And it's something that I also learned how to apply in my life. Boundaries is definitely a big one that made me a much better creative artist. Mm -hmm. Um, and also, um, you know, within those boundaries is like one of the main ones is knowing when to say no, mm -hmm. you know, when to say no. And, uh, that has led me to be more assertive, assertiveness. That was and the that's, word. That's the challenge you know? that I'm, that I, I'm still working on. It's one that I acknowledge and I'm still working on. It's hard sometimes to say no. Absolutely. I've, I've acknowledged I am a people pleaser at times and to my own detriment, right? It's very powerful what two letters can do. It's very very powerful. powerful. And there's many, many techniques um, and, and how you can execute a good no. And I think I will highly recommend you, 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 you trying them to start. Mm -hmm. But eventually, it'll lead you to the the most effective one. No, it's like you know, because first you start. No, I would maybe you know reach out in a week mm -hmm. or no. You know what? I recommend this person. You 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 like to add to it so you won't feel bad, right? Right. But instead of just saying no, 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 yes. and 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 then you you set those boundaries, and it also says a lot about you, mm -hmm. right? Says a lot about. It, it it shows your value, your worth, the mm -hmm. worth, at least the worth that that you you your self worth for yourself, mm -hmm. right? Um, and it's such a powerful thing to 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 apply in your life. Hey, you know? wait, I'm gonna I gotta continue working on that because I I I recognize that, and then it's exactly what you said. It's like you you tack on to it because you don't want to make them feel bad or you don't want to make i guess to some degree it's like you don't want to make yourself feel bad because it's like i want to help you but i, I can't like right right and there's many levels also mm -hmm. and there's a lot of uh, i forget who it is and i want to give them credit for it um but i can't think of their name right now i did not read their book and i don't remember who it is but i can vaguely remember what it was about because i think i did one of those spark notes and mm -hmm. just give me a breakdown of what this book is about um there's many levels to boundaries mm -hmm. okay uh but to get to those levels those deeper levels of boundaries you need to start with the first one is saying no to other people um because then you realize that oh wow you yourself don't have boundaries for your own self mm -hmm. you know and that's where i'm at right now setting boundaries for myself I, i'm not not to say that it's been easy i don't think it, very, it is easy especially if you're people pleaser by nature mm -hmm. uh it's never easy to say no but you get used to to it but now you realize like oh i don't say no to myself when you're like squirrel i need to work on that oh now i need to work on that all right no this is cool this is going right well i need to do it oh, like now you need to say no the shiny object the shiny yeah object. The yeah, shiny <laughs> object. All the yeah. Time, that's a problem it's You're totally right. a problem to say no 
Like, no, this is not your lane. Exactly. Go into your own lane. Like, stay here. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 So it, 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 um, I, I, I personally, what helps me and not to say like, oh, I'm the productivity guru. I'm like, I'm not, not by, no, but, not at all. No, I suffer. I suffer still with this. But, um, one of the things I was going to say is that when you do start saying no to other people, it be, it, it becomes easier now to tackle that, you know, those self boundaries that you need to create for yourselves. Mm -hmm. And, but, uh, and so, so how do you say no to yourself? Right. Uh, well, here it requires a much bigger sacrifice because you're dealing with your worst enemy, mm -hmm. yourself, right? Yourself. You're dealing with your worst enemy. Here, what I do is like, I say to myself, okay, some, some of these ideas need to die right now. Okay. Need to die completely. It's like, I have, and what I do is like, I write stuff down. I want to do this. I want to do this. Like, yeah, all these things are achievable. Wow, 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 wow. You know, a day in, three days in, I'm like, wow, none of this stuff is real. Like, if I try to tackle all these things at the same time, <laughs> I'm never getting anywhere. <laughs> Something in here needs to die. I cross this off. I cross this off. And it hurts. You know, it's like in, in writing, they call it um like killing your babies or your darlings or one of those <laughs> killing your darlings where, you know, th the writer needs to like, okay, I need to get rid of this. I need to get rid of this now. And killing your babies, I think, is in editing or in movie making. Mm -hmm. uh, I keep getting those two things confused. But, you know, this scene is not going to help this help the movie progress, you know. And maybe it, it was it sounded great on paper, literally. Um, a script, maybe it sounded great. But when it when it came to script to screen, it doesn't work. So that kind of how how you have to see life. Like yeah, in paper, all these goals that I want and all these things that I want to do sounds great. Yeah, look, it looks like I'm organized. I could be very productive. But then when you try to execute them, you realize, oh, I only have three four hours in a day. I need to pick one or two things and just go with that hard, double down. And anytime something else comes in and just left field, oh, this sounds interesting. What I do is like okay. Let me play with that for a little bit, but then realize now this is not for me. Mm -hmm. Let me double, triple down on what I was originally working on. And I think it is kind of like a, a psychological back and forth, you know, uh, mm -hmm. and that seems to be very effective, a little bit sloppy, but very effective for me. Just pruning. This is not going to work. This is not going to work. I, I love that. Yeah. And I realized I had, I did something similar. I played around with Garage Man a lot. Mm -hmm. I made three songs i wrote rap songs oh which are hilarious mm, oh, okay um, i want to hear them oh no, <laughs> no one, we can end the show with a rap song <laughs> oh, <shucks. laughs> but uh but yeah like i i wrote song like because I, I love music yeah. right i thought oh i can make music right mm -hmm. i played around with garage man i started learning how to produce and then i was like oh no like this is this is so time consuming. This is so time like I just like the end product. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I stopped at like two or three, and then I was like, no, you know what? I and I had already at that time I had already invested so much into the art thing. Like I had made yeah. a website. I had right, made, right. I had been doing so much for my art stuff to then just shiny saw off yeah, yeah. syndrome, where I just started doing music out of nowhere. It was like, oh no, like. You need to stop this. Get back to the art right, stuff. right, yeah. Um, but yeah, completely. I I can see that. Ooh. I I I that has happened to me plenty of times, <laughs> uh, all the times. Um, just yesterday, I had to like since I'm in the world of filmmaking, there's so many things that you can do. So mm -hmm. right now, currently, one of my biggest challenges is to learn uh 3D using Blender, oh. and I've been doing that in a very slow way i've been following this course mm -hmm. uh, like i realize if i have if i'm following this you know a well-structured uh tutorial without going crazy on youtube something mm -hmm. that i could buy and just follow that and give myself some time with de deadline which is like by the end of the year i want to be kind of familiar with the basics mm -hmm. um you know that that is a a good goal for me but then other things like in the world of uh, film, there's virtual production. You could do this, you could do mo motion capture and like all these shiny objects. And I've tried them all. And then that that's when I realized now this is, this is way too much for me to handle. Mm -hmm. Um, but I know how it is, how that is. Especially in this day and age where there's so many tools, there's so many, so like, many tools. Um, you mentioned earlier how, how your daughter draws like on the, uh, on the iPad. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Like I've always wanted to learn how to do that, but I see it and I'm like, oh, Stephanie, this is 
this is gonna be so so time consuming and then it, it goes into that like it's gonna take away from that effort that you can be putting into something else. oh yeah like you know that you want to double down yep yep um but it all kind of plays out at the end i mean i i don't want to say it <laughs> give me one okay. okay. zayden please yeah, I, I, I know, I know the feeling and, and, and this is kind of, this is kind of tough to say. Um, but sometimes you learn from those things. I mean, like, cause now, okay, you, you went on a deep dive in garage band <laughs> to realize that, that this is not the process that, that you quite enjoy. Um, that was a good discovery. Mm -hmm. I and mean, sometimes it's good to like, okay, sure. Get it out of your system. Do it. Um, and it's kind of like a win because now you're editing this podcast in GarageBand, right? It's like, so it's like it wasn't a complete waste of time. And sometimes you have those moments and and uh, yeah, 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 it can be quite a challenge. I mean, it, it's something that definitely. So like my, my dad likes to say, like, there is no knowledge wasted. Right? Absolutely. So, yeah. yeah, I you're right. I did go on this deep dive on GarageBand to find out this is really not my thing, but you're absolutely right. Years later, because like this was like, what, two or three years ago? Mm -hmm. Years later, here I am. I use GarageBand to make my intro and outro to this podcast, um, using it to edit and all of that. Like, So, yeah, it, it does come in handy. But like, <laughs> it was time that I, I feel like I could have dedicated to the art stuff. But anyways. I think every artist, every artist goes through this. So to tell... and. I mean, to, to, to tell an artist, don't try it. They're not, they're never going to do it. Think. And, but there's a, there's an overarching me uh, message here is that, you know, just choose wisely, mm -hmm. choose wisely. And if you are going to choose something that's outside of your realm, you know, just be wary that, that it not, you know, it might pull you away from the end goal, mm -hmm. you know? So if I were to choose something, it's kind of like how I mentioned it's always within that direction. But then, because and in my my field, there's so many things that you can do, right? Like in acting, you could do so many things. You could be a voiceover artist. You could be doing theater. You can do just commercial acting. You could do film. You could do TV. You could do so many things. Mm -hmm. So you kind of have to choose your poison and kind of head that route. Um, but I'm always a big advocate. I was like, hey, you'll never know until you try. You know, you might find something else. Or you can also realize, like, hey, painting wasn't for me, and you know, and now I'm like. I want to be this rapper now. <laughs> it, it's all part of the creative process too, but it does help. It does help to bring it back. It does help to have some sort of discipline with, with boundaries, you know, cause you, you eventually have to autocorrect yourself. You know, you have to be very strict with yourself. So there's, there needs to be a balance. So like, sure, this needs to be freedom, but also you need to be like, you know, this is a discipline. It's so you're trying to be a craftsman, right? It's like if you want to be, uh, if you want to be an architect or if you want to be a carpenter, you know, you're not going to be trying to build ships, build a table, build a chair. Like, no, learn how to build a chair first, then learn how to build a counter, like baby steps too. You know, like don't try to do like a home. Mm -hmm. it's like, so, so there needs to be some sort of pr like progressive progression, design. right? Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. How did you decide on, or have you decided, like, what's your, your, um, field, or I guess within the acting world? Within, within the acting world. So actively, I am a, I'm a represented by an agent. Mm -hmm. So, um, I do auditions. I, you know, it's like, I, I like to, to, to relate it to like, um, the type of this type of acting to, um, like real estate. Like, mm -hmm. so the realtor is always like presenting homes, mm -hmm. but not everyone is going to be a buyer. So that's kind of how acting works. You're going to all these auditions, but people never buy, never like, choose you. You know, mm -hmm. that could be very tiring, but I do either way. Cause when I do land something, Hey, that pays the bills. So the acting for as a job, mm -hmm. as a job, that's been more like, Hey, payday. Um, mm -hmm. But for me personally, I, I consider myself like an independent artist, like independent creator. So if I were to use acting, it will be to be part of a film that I write or part of a, you know, a video um, or for content creation. And it, and it, for the future, you know, I'll love to be able to build a platform, build a community that can support that cause, mm -hmm. you know, while and, and that cause 
I uh, wouldn't want the, the end goal is not to rely on the auditions and doing the the me you know the mainstream stuff i would love to just detach from that because that that in itself is tiring you know it's just kind of like a waste of time too mm -hmm. i mean honestly it also doesn't help constantly getting no's even though like you are a really good actor and you 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 encompass really good characters it's hard to always it, get, it, get those no's yeah well you kind of get used to you kind of grow numb to the nose so it's not more like the nose it's more like you're not getting the job. I was like, so I was like, ah, oh, what a waste of time. So I spent, I, I, I had to drive to the audition, wait there for like an hour. Um, I had to send a tape. No, well, now they're doing a lot more since post COVID. They're doing more like virtual, virtual. So like I had to do this whole setup. You know how long this took, right? Mm -hmm. It took you like a good while, right? So imagine like this is kind of like what I have to do. And then I have to learn the script. And then like you're doing all of that to not land the job and, and it's like it's not like i'm complaining you know, like this is a wonderful world to be in mm -hmm. and i'm pretty sure it's more like my attitude than like the industry itself mm -hmm. but um you know it's but that my the, the my end goal and what i want is not fitting more and more with that that kind of style mm -hmm. you know so um definitely trying to embrace and build you know trying to monetize online while keeping mm -hmm. a good you know uh, being keeping my mental well-being in check um having discipline to create certain kind of work yeah. so it feels like i'm a little bit everywhere but i'm like this is the direction that i'm going um but you it's have your clear vision you could say I, I, you could say you could say yes that's yeah that that's actually more than what most people have i feel like I don't know. you have uh, a, you have a an idea of where you want you have at least have some idea of where it is that you want to go towards you, you can say that yeah like um um to be more specific i would love i would love to write my own film mm -hmm. produce it make it make money like who wouldn't want to make money from their art right but if i see i see those tra that traditional form of thinking you know it's kind of like the artist saying yeah i want to create a bunch of art have my own gallery and people buy my art it was like mm -hmm. uh, it's easier said than done mm -hmm. right it was like yeah you can have 30 pieces but they're, they're not gonna sell you know <laughs> it's like you gotta no, keep wearing it yeah, it was like you, you open up an etsy store and like start selling shirts you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <that'll be> <laughs> right? so, so like so that's like that's where i'm at as an actor is like but you find within all of that you find your like you find your place you know mm -hmm. and the beauty of today's time is that you can find your people you can find your tribe mm -hmm. you can find like for example the guy and i was like i really had a blast creating a guy which i've never like i celebrated so hard because i just i created this guy about a week ago mm -hmm. so hard to make this guide and i had fun in the process like i never in my life would i would i imagine like me creating a book you know like i'll call it a book you know mm -hmm. but but it's not a novel it's just like <laughs> visual guide of how to do something mm -hmm. using ai I was like wow this is really cool and in all time <laughs> so this guide is all is all my i used all my face swaps as an example yeah. so like <laughs> and people bought my guide like wow somebody just bought a guide with 15 pages of my face on it like each page is my face this is wonderful you know if that's not personal branding i don't know what is you know so like you bought a book with 15 pages of my face awesome but hopefully there's like some value in it um so you get to learn those kind of things and i'm not i'm creative i'm not business sack mm -hmm. uh, and 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 that's something i've tried like yeah let me open up a, and, and i did i had a little i had a little studio mm -hmm. in a little havana which is such a great spot i love the vibe so if you're not from miami just that's as iconic or as miami as it gets yes. as, as a miami gets right so i was there such a cool place i had my studio i was i just left like this terrible production uh place that i worked in i'm not gonna say the name mm -hmm. but i was there like i started my own thing as a freelance getting my own clients only to realize that this is not what i wanted to do at all the whole setup and the vibe was great but like dealing with clients building a business th that kind of business was not what i wanted to do and i just wasn't good at it like dealing and at subcontracting other people and, mm -hmm. and doing commercial like not my thing i thought it was so i let that office go and thankfully it was before covid so i saved tons of money you know by doing that and, and a big shame so i called it i'm not doing this i'm gonna stick to more freelancing you know 
-hmm. working under other people again as i figure out where i go and this feels what i'm doing now just feels a little bit more me and like it doesn't feel like a business but it feels like i'm adding value to the community and teaching people the process of what i'm doing all while me creating all this silliness and videos and like oh now it's starting to make sense so if i'm able to continue that to continue that and do it at a do it at a larger scale mm -hmm. you know the videos get better the stories become better more beefier m with more with more like substance mm -hmm. um i'll be a happy man you know so so uh it's a good time to create yeah it is good yeah. time to be creative very um and i think on that note let's want to wrap this up oh yeah yeah let's wrap right. this up let's wrap this up guys so sway go ahead and tell the beautiful people where they can find this beautiful how-to guy <laughs> all your artwork all of it like please let them know where they can reach you all right you can you can follow me on instagram i'm an instagram guy you can say but i don't have much followers there but i do post my work there at instagram at sway molina i'm very active on twitter find me there as well i have a youtube page just type in sway molina and you'll find all my crazy work so i do comedy i don't know if i mentioned i do comedy and i come up with some like crazy skits <laughs> and characters i love playing with voices and dressing up and yeah. doing all these kind of things so you can find me there yeah all right well thank you beautiful humans thank you thank Sorry you for, for having me here i appreciate you hopefully we can have you again of course i'll be more than happy future yeah all right guys thank you for joining us peace Bye.